How is my YouTube family doing? I wish everybody a good start of the day. Today is my second day of conference in Toronto and I'm going to be sharing little clips here and there with you all again. For anyone who's joining me for the first time, I would like to give you a warm welcome. When I'm not cooking and sharing recipes, I also do vlogging as well. I got up 6 o'clock this morning and I'm getting dressed to go downstairs for breakfast. Breakfast will be served from 7 to 8.45 and then conference will start at 9. So let me get dressed quickly. This is what the outside look like. It is very, very early in the morning and it is still a little bit gloomy outside. The place is cold. There is no snow yet, but I believe we're going to get some later this week. This is right in front of the building that I'm staying. And this is my view every morning when I wake up. I would recommend the Four Season Hotel to anyone. The place is very clean and organized. The staff is amazing. The food is great. And everything about this place is just five star rating for me. And to top it off, I have this beautiful view in the morning. In the night when the place is dark, it's even more amazing to look out through the window. I would stand up there for minutes and minutes to watch how beautiful the trees are lit up and the rain there and even the shape of the Christmas tree in front of the building is so beautiful to look at. So let me not waste any more time. I have a conference to go to. I have to take shower and get dressed and get downstairs in time to start my day. So the reason why I wake up so early in the morning, I like to wash my hair, blow dry it, and then flat iron a little bit to get the style that I'm looking for. So I am ready for day two. I'm wearing blue and black today. It was a little bit cold yesterday in the conference room because we were sitting all day and there was <clears throat> there was a um, air condition right over my head. So today I'm walking with a blazer to keep myself warm. I'm going to head down for breakfast. I'll let you guys know what I'm having for breakfast and keep you posted for the rest of the day. So this is what I'm wearing today. I have a blue top, black skirt. I feel very comfortable in this outfit. When I come to these conferences now, I feel nice when I get to dress up to be among my work colleagues. It feels like when I was in the office before. I did miss the office for the people and the gathering, but I enjoy working from home as well. So I'm gonna head down and I'll talk to you guys soon. Going to the elevator. I only have to go down two floors from where I am, so it's not a long elevator ride. But I know some of my colleagues are staying in 17 and 18 floors which is way above me. I usually have company in the elevator, but it seems like it's only me this morning. So my warm breakfast today was turkey sausages, scrambled eggs, roasted potatoes, and some fruits, of course. I like to start my day with a hot cup of Earl Grey and a slice of lemon in there and a few drops of honey. I decided to go outside to have some fresh air. It's kind of nice to be outside. After two full days, I didn't come outside and I really need that little breath of fresh air. It's kind of beautiful and busy outside here. So I came outside for a little break because my nose is very dry and stuffy inside the hotel since I arrived on Sunday. I didn't come out to get some fresh air so I came out with some of my buddies who are taking a smoke break just to get some fresh air and it actually feels so good I don't have my jacket on it's not a very very cold day but it's a busy one 
So I'm just taking a little walk and it feels nice to be out. So nice and so fresh. And then when we head in back, it's lunchtime. I've been eating so much on the strip eating and sitting so it, you get very tired quickly but tomorrow is my last day here and I can't wait to go home to my kiddos and hubby the girls already messaged and said mom they miss me and I do miss them so I'll share what I'm having for lunch I'm not sure yet what we're having I have some salmon, chicken, quinoa, couscous, vegetable, a little bit of everything and a nice warm bowl of beef and barley soup. I had a nice lemon and almond cake and tiramisu of course with a nice warm cup of tea. So my friends, conference day two is finished. I came up to get dressed and we are heading out to visit one of our company's location and then we're gonna go for dinner at the distillery district so i just came up changed did a change of outfit because we're going outside it's gonna be cold and to put on something nice and warm and then we're gonna be meeting up in the lobby around 5 30 so i'll take you guys along with me a little bit of the ride i'm gonna share hopefully i will be able to do so and then i'll share what i'm having for dinner and a few little clippings i'm gonna share but stay tuned for more so i'm ready for the road guys let me show you what i'm wearing try to find a good spot for the phone so, I have a soft leather pants, a long sleeve shirt, a blazer, scarf, and my jacket. And I'm wearing boots because it's going to be cold. So, I'm going to try to show a better hold pose when I'm ready. And I'm meeting my colleagues downstairs in a few minutes. But I'm taking you all along with me. So, come on down. Let's go. We're bringing Toronto to you, the distillery district, into your own living room. So come on, let's go. We have a team dinner at the Mill Street Brew Pub and everybody's heading down there right now. It is located in the distillery district in Toronto. This area is always nicely decorated, especially for Christmas time. They have a Christmas market right here in the distillery district. I'm walking down with one of my colleagues and we are chit-chatting and she's from Montreal. She was here many, many times before me. I'm living in Ontario and I can't believe this is the first time I'm coming to the distillery district. If you're like me living in Ontario and haven't visit the distillery district yet please give it a try it is beautiful i heard there is always something going on here it is kind of really really nicely decorated and it's a place that you want to be especially on the weekend so if you haven't please check it out we're getting closer to the location we're going to i heard it was so nice during the christmas time but I didn't get a chance to visit this past Christmas. The distillery district looked like a little tongue far away in Europe that you're passing through. There is some shopping area, there is restaurants, and it is very, very inviting. Um, if you're ever in Toronto, please check it out. I think this is one place that everybody likes to visit when they're here in Toronto so I can still see some Christmas decorations on in the month of February I guess because it was Lunar New Year on the weekend and I believe the Orthodox is having their New Year 
next weekend so I believe that's the reason why but I'm happy that the lights are still on because I get to enjoy some of it even though I didn't get to see the lighting up of the huge big Christmas tree. Look how beautiful this is. Really nice, right? There's lights everywhere and it's a beautiful walk. Nice and peaceful as you can see and not busy at all because it's also a Tuesday night. So I guess more of the actions usually happen on the weekends and not during the weeknight. I would like to shout out a happy, happy birthday to my cousin Sandra from Essequibo who's celebrating her birthday on Valentine's Day. She's a very special cousin to me and I wish you all the best, many, many more happy birthdays to come with long life, happiness, good health and strength and prosperity. Sending love from Canada. So we just got here at the restaurant and I'm having a beef slider first thing of all. It was really, really delicious. I'm having here a poutine with some deep fried onions. I have a nice plate of salad and I'm going to have a pasta made in front of me by the chef and I get to add all of my favorite topping into the pasta. It was nice freshly made and very nice and warm. I add some extra pepper flake in mine that makes it even more delicious. Check out how nice and beautiful and vibrant looking it is. Check out this love sign. It is Valentine. So some places are decorated nicely. The hotel also decorated their lobby with sign of love and flowers and nice painting for Valentine's. So happy Valentine's everyone. So I'm back. We had a fun filled day. Beautiful time spent with all our colleagues the last night together. Tomorrow we have final day of conference and tonight was like our last night in Toronto over a nice dinner i just got back in let me show you all what it looks like on the outside so thank you all for coming with me in toronto for my work conference i was very happy to share all my little clippings with you all you know that whenever i go somewhere i always like to take the youtube family with me as well and to share all the little things I do when I'm away. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna be checking out early and leaving to go home back to my family on Valentine's Day. So by the time I post this video, it's gonna be after Valentine's. So I wanna say happy Valentine's Day to each and every one of you. Everybody who's celebrating. It doesn't have to be for lovers only. It can be for parents, siblings, cousins, family, friends teachers, you know, somebody who you love and care about. So I want to thank you all so, so much for coming with me. I still have tomorrow and I'm going to share my day tomorrow and my traveling home. I heard Uber is going on strike tomorrow, so I'm not sure yet how I'm getting back home, but I will figure it out. I want to say good night. You guys stay blessed. And I will catch you guys in my next video.